good morning from a wet Hortonly spring. I'm on my way now to the old Horton colliery site to see if I can find the location of an alleged third shaft. Now the shafts were filled in in 1981 and 1982 when the colliery closed and we've always been aware that there was an upcast shaft and a downcast shaft and it's only recently that we've seen a mention of a third shaft on a council map that was put together as part of a pack in 2010 when the council hoped to sell the site off. Now none of the old miners have ever mentioned a third shaft so I'm off there now to investigate. I'll let you know what I find out when I get there. I'm now actually outside the home of retired Horton miner, or rather redundant Horton miner, George Davison. He worked at the colliery for over 30 years, from the 1950s until its closure in 1981. Have a look at this and let me know what you make of it. It's a plan of Horton Colliery site. See the three red circles? The three circles are the shafts. Mm -hmm. It's this third one that I've never heard of. Can you ever remember a third shaft? Never a third shaft there. Yeah. Never a third shot. No. Well, there you go, you have it from old Geordie himself, a redundant Horton miner. He cannot remember a third shaft. That's not to say it doesn't exist, so we're going to go up there now and have a good look through the undergrowth to see if we can find a shaft cap. See you when we get up there. We're now approaching the Horton Colliery site and we're going to get there by walking up the old slag heap. It's actually quite poignant to come to this site with my grandfather who worked at the colliery for over 30 years as I've already mentioned. Um, obviously since the colliery closed in 1981 this site's changed immensely. All the buildings and the workings have gone and it's landscaped as we've just seen in the early eclipse. So in that, that direction from the downcast shaft can you ever remember? Might have been this way but not that way. And yet on the plan it says to the left of the downcast, or to the right rather. Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's to go into those trees. Now, in the wooded area, um, just to the right of the downcast shaft cap. And we're having a look around now to see if we can find any sign of an old shaft. Um, it's so overgrown here, it's quite impossible to be honest. Yeah, the, it doesn't make sense at all, does it? It's not easy because there's so much leaf matter on the floor and a lot of moss about. You just can't see any signs of brickwork that would suggest that there was a shaft cap in the area. Yeah. The right of him, the, the little bit raw houses there, then, the, then there was the coal yard depot where you sent to the coal. Well, there's a map from 1896, and that street that you've just mentioned can be seen there. That one there. Uh -huh. And there's a That's 
That's the real, real line, isn't it? Yeah. There's only so long that you can keep an old miner out in weather like this. So Geordie's gone back home to his nice warm house. In the meantime, I'm going to continue looking through the undergrowth because I'm desperate to find some evidence that there was a third shaft at Horton Colliery. Fingers crossed. Well, after searching for a long time, there's no remaining evidence of this third shaft. It looks like this mystery will have to be solved by a visit to the archives. It's goodbye from Horton Colliery site.